OpenAI have finally released their new model, which is GPT-03 Mini, which is supposed to be a direct response to DeepSeek. Let's see what it's about, and let's see how it compares to DeepSeek itself. And so, without further ado, let's begin. Alright, now, I'm a web developer, so that's exactly what I'll test in. We'll create a simple portfolio website with two components, a hero section and an animated testimonial section. And let's see who does it better. First, let's start with GPT-03. This is the prompt we'll give it. I have a V2 website set up with Tailwind CSS and Framer Motion. Build a hero section for a portfolio website. Make it complete, unique, and well animated. Don't forget to make it responsive. And here we can see GPT thinking and reasoning with itself. You've already seen that in DeepSeek. And it gives us an answer. This component. It seems well enough like this. So let's copy this and see how it implements inside of our Beat app. Inside of it, let's remove everything from the app, create a new file called hero.jsx, paste it in, and let's see what we have. And this is what it gives us. As you can see, we don't have an image. It didn't provide one. We have this text, some more text, a simple button, which is animated. We also have an intro animation. And we have this jumping circle. And it does seem like the gradient is slightly changing in the background. So it is decent enough, but I wouldn't call it impressive, say the very least. Also, I do believe there is an issue with the code. For example, it gave us a path like this. This is incorrect. For example, in our assets, we have this image. We can't see right now, but it's image of the logo of React. Even if we enter the correct path, so assets slash react dot SVG, as you can see, it simply won't appear. And the reason it won't appear is because that is not how you add a path in Vite. That is how you add a path in Next.js, but not Vite. So already a deep reasoning model made an error on a very simple task. And now let's see how DeepSeek performs on the exact same tasks. As you can see, the prompt is exactly the same. And let's see what it gives us. Once again, it's reasoning, it's thinking, and so, Let's let it do its thing. It's typing out the code. And the code already seems bigger than that of ChatGPT 03. Now we can copy said code, go to the hero, and replace it with this deep seek code. And if we look at the website now, it seems we do have an error. And the error is in the fact that the path isn't correct which is completely fine. All we need to do is find a good path in our file unfold structure and replace it. For this, let's go to assets and select this react.svg image. And let's reload this. And it seems the website is working. And as you can see, the difference is stark. This is also quite simple, but feels much more professional. And as you saw, it didn't make any syntax errors. We simply need to enter a path for an image and everything was working fine. So, I do believe, at least in this task, DeepSeek is better. Now, let's go on to our second challenge, which is a testimonial section with a constant moving animation. Let's finish up this prompt. Let DeepSeek do its thing and think about everything. And right now, let's go back to our code and create a new file, which we'll call deepcarousel.jsx. Let's go back over here wait to finish up everything and copy the code. We can go back, paste it into here, go to app.jsx and add this component into our website. And here we have this component. It does seem pretty good. I don't know what the black thing is about it, but the general premise is good. It's moving, it's clear, it's concise. So pretty decent. Now let's see what ChatGPT can do. We'll create a new file for GPT, which we'll call gptcarousel.jsx. And let's go over here, copy this prompt, and paste it into O3. Let's let it think and create the code. And now that it's done, I also want to point out that our limit is already over. Despite, we've only made a couple of prompts. Granted, I did make like five or six prompts before it, but still. This is a very limited amount for this deep reasoning model. Whereas with DeepSeek, at least as of right now, it's completely open source and you can use it however much you like. So that's a big benefit of DeepSeek. And now we can copy the code, 
go back to our Visual Studio code and paste it in there. Save it. Once again, go to app.jsx and add it over here. And let's compare it to DeepSeek. And here we have the two side by side. And it is quite different. Both have the correct animations, but DeepSeek just looks much better and much more professional and looks like an actual deep reasoning model, not like something that was made a few years ago. And so from what I can see from this limited example, DeepSeek is still better than O3 Mini. Now it might be worse at some other tasks, I don't know yet, but for now, this is my judgment. Deepseek remains king.